Happy December, everyone. Oh my goodness, that sounds so weird to say. Happy December. I remember when it was November, it felt so weird that the holidays were just right around the corner. And now it's December, and it's like I'm getting ready for Christmas, and it's like, year, can you please slow down a little bit? You're going by way too fast. Honestly, I could not be any happier that it's December. I am looking forward to all of the Christmas festivities, going home and seeing my family, seeing my cat. Christmas is just my favorite holiday and it's my favorite time of the year and I'm so, so excited for this month and everything that it's going to bring. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, this video I'm going to be showing you my October and November favorites. I did find some nice goodies these past two months, so let's go ahead and talk about them. Yeah, all right, let's do this. So the first thing I have here is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine Lipstick in 54 Boy. I have absolutely just fallen in love with this lipstick. This is a really, really pretty pink mauve color that looks just really great on people with fair skin. It's very, very sheer. Some people might not like if they're wanting a little bit more color on their lips, but for someone like me who actually likes their kind of natural lip color, something like this is perfect because it gives you that my lips but better look. The only downside to this lipstick is that it doesn't last very long on your lips. So if you're, you know, drinking beverages, you'll probably have to reapply it quite constantly, which can be annoying and, you know, it is a steep price tag. So for people who, you know, that might bother them, it might not be um, the lipstick for you, but I... I really like this lipstick. I also really love pairing this with a smoky eye. I'm actually wearing this lip color right now. I just like that it's just like a really subtle pink that just you know, doesn't detract from the eyes or anything like that. And I am sorry about the background noise. There's like a dumpster truck or something happening out there being really loud and obnoxious. So the next thing that I have here, this is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in CW03 Light. Yes. <laughs> I love using this product um, underneath my eyes to cover up my dark eye circles, to highlight the bridge of my nose, any other little problem areas that I might have. The coverage of this is great. It blends really well and it's super affordable. So those are all big pluses in my book. And I have another lipstick here. This is the Rimmel Moisture New Lipstick in 380 Vintage Pink. Even though it's called Vintage Pink, it's actually much more of a mauve color. This has one of the most creamiest and moisturizing formulas that I've ever encountered in, ugh, what did I just say? <laughs> that I've ever encountered in a lipstick. I think that this is just really perfect for everyday wear during the fall. The next thing here is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. I recently brought it back out and I'm so happy I did because it has become my go-to mascara this last month. It doesn't clump or smudge. It actually holds a curl which is actually a really big deal when it comes to my lashes because they cannot hold a curl. It's super buildable and it's really lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's weighing down your lashes which happens a lot for me because I can't really wear fake eyelashes so I tend to really just build up the mascara but the only thing is, is a lot of the time Times, the mascara just weighs down my lashes and it's like it covers my line of sight. My favorite thing about it though is that it doesn't really leave my lashes feeling really dry and crunchy. It actually will leave my lashes feeling very soft, which I love and I'm actually also wearing this right now. And that's it for makeup favorites. Going into random favorites, I guess, everything else. I have my pumpkin cupcake candle from Bath & Body Works. And this was also one of my favorite candles from last year, and I'm bringing it back this year. I absolutely love the smell. I think that it's perfect for fall, and I love coming home and smelling this. Mmm, candle. Oh my goodness, it just smells so good. I feel like it just fills up my room with this really yummy, delicious scent. This is the Speculoos Cookie Butter from Trader Joe's, and oh my goodness, if you have not discovered this yet, you are missing out. This is just basically heaven scent. I got this from Forever 21, and it is the cutest pajama set. It says, um, cats are a girl's best friend, and this is the tank top, and it comes with these super cute pajama bottoms that 
have little kitties all over them and if you know me at all, I am a huge, huge cat lover. I wore it when I um, recently went to Kamikaze, actually, and I wore it just this past weekend at a buffet, and the owner saw it and was like, oh my goodness, I love cats too, and went on to tell me about his cats, and then gave me a discount. I have definitely gotten my money's worth out of it because I can sleep in it, I can, you know, pair it with jeans and make it an everyday top, and yeah, I get apparently discounts at buffets with it too. So for TV, I have two shows. Um, one of them is an anime, and oh my goodness, it's probably one of the funniest shows, like not just anime, but one of the funniest just overall shows that I've ever seen. And it is called, um, okay, I think the English version is called Monthly Girls Magazine Nizaki-kun. I usually just refer to it by the Japanese um, term, which is Genkin Shoujo Nizaki-kun. Um, which I am horrible with pronunciation. It is just so clever and original, and I really love how they play with shoujo um, like archetypes or tropes. One thing that I think that it does really well is it has just a hilarious cast of characters that you really care about. Like They're funny, but they have depth to them, and I think that's something that a lot of times we forget when it comes to comedy is that you know these characters are more than just jokes, that they're actually people, and they are multi layered and interesting individuals. Not very many shows can make me laugh out loud at every single episode and this show did that. Like I can rewatch episodes and I'm still laughing out loud even though I know what's going to happen. It's just so good. Seriously, watch it. So the other show that I wanted to talk about is called How to Get Away with Murder, which I'm sure most of you have probably heard about. It's probably my favorite new fall TV show that has recently come out for this fall season. Um, I find that this show is just incredibly addicting. Now the characters aren't really the most likable. Um, I'm definitely not watching it for them. I'm watching it for the story. I find that the way that they're telling the story is just really unique and really original. Um, I like how the time kind of shifts back and forth between present time and the future where you actually see the students um, getting away with murder, which really isn't a spoiler so don't get mad at me because it's kind of presented in the very first episode. But it's really interesting so if you're looking for a new show to watch, I would recommend that. Finally, music-wise, it's all about Taylor. Taylor Swift, she never disappoints. I've loved every single one of her albums in 1989, which is also my birth year. So represent, girl. I have just been absolutely, absolutely loving each and every single song, although Blank Space right now is my anthem. I have heard that song every single day, like 10 times a day in the car, and it does not matter to me. I will turn up the volume every single time, and I will sing my heart out. I just, I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of Taylor. I love her. I think she's awesome. I think all of her songs in this album is awesome and keep on making good music girl doing your thing and just don't even mind the haters so that is everything this month for my October and my November favorite thank you all so much for watching I am very much looking forward to this next month and putting out some more videos for you all um, somewhere in between all the craziness and the busyness of this holiday season but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, rest of the week, and I'll see you later. Bye!